Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing Bubble Bobble, another NES classic. Now I'm not going to play two players, although you really do need two players to beat the game. But since there are a hundred levels, we're not going to get anywhere close to the end. I'll just play as one guy. Now this is adapted from an arcade game, but this is the game that most people have played because, well, people didn't have access to the arcades. And I already lost a level, which is amazing. I mean, I uh, lost a, a guy. I've never lost a guy on this first level before, that I can remember, anyway. Um, but as you can see, the the uh, goal of the game is to encase your enemies in bubbles, and then pop the bubbles. The enemies then land, turning into stuff that you can collect for points. Other things will appear on the screen. And the music does not change for the entire game, and it's practically a loop that takes like 30 seconds to play. So this game would drive parents insane with the repeating music forever and ever and ever. But kids love stuff that repeat, like Blue's Clues. So no problems there. Kids love this game. And if you pop more than one bubble at a time, you get more points, and that's great, but also a pain. So in these first levels, you're just encountering one enemy. But eventually, you get to newer levels, and there are different enemies that behave very differently. And uh, the game, basically, you, you learn how to deal with all of them. Some of the enemies you can't even kill. Um, when there's only one enemy left that hasn't been killed, then he acts differently than at other times. He turns red and becomes, uh, I don't know, angry, I guess, because you didn't kill him fast enough. Oh good, I got, I got an extra life to make up for the stupid one that I lost on the first level. <sighs> Let's see what's on level five. Okay, now this looks like it's gonna be... yeah, see, this one introduces the first time that we run into a, a new thing, which is this water... thing. And the water will take you down, and you go around. Look, I got an X, and I didn't even realize that I got an X. Um, there are letters that appear, and you can spell out things and get awesomeness by that. Also, falling through the top of the screen doesn't kill you, and I'm surprised, I didn't realize that, that those uh, white-cloaked guys came up this early, but they're, they're actually a, a rather difficult enemy. They shoot stuff at you, which is hard to avoid. We didn't happen to see any yet. Maybe they're easier on the earlier levels, I'm not sure. But now we've got a level that's nothing but those guys, so I don't know. Maybe they're not as hard as I thought. Maybe they don't shoot the thing. Oh, what? I was going to come up and get the crown after I killed all the enemies. And they only give you a short amount of time to collect points after all the enemies are gone. See, I can't control when it goes on to the next level. Ooh, a mushroom. What is that worth? 200! Mushrooms are worth way... should be worth way more than other things. A thousand points for just a stupid little tomato-looking thing, but I only got... whatever. So you notice that you can fall through the bottom of the ground, and you'll come through the top of the screen. Uh, here's one that happens a lot. The room is actually shaped like an enemy that you then encounter a lot. See, I got some bonus for getting more than one at a time there. Here, I got two at a time. If you leave an enemy in the bubble too long, they also get angry. Um, there you saw an example of falling through whenever I'm in the middle of things. You can jump up through almost everything, I think. It's everything. But you don't fall through everything, so it makes things act a little strangely. And here we've got the whales. The whales are pretty much like the worst enemy in the game. I hate these stupid whales, because they move diagonally, and they're fast, and they fly. And, uh, they're just generally difficult to deal with. Look at that, I got a bunch of letters in this level. 2,000 points just for getting two at a time. Don't get any points for that, so I don't know why I did that. Probably because I just I can't fall through and there's only one spot, so whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be shaped like. Every, not every level, but many levels tend to be 
have shapes that are something. There you saw I was able to actually jump on a bubble. You can you can jump on a bubble if you're fast enough. Um, and I'm usually not fast enough. <laughs> That's awesome. I lost a life and immediately almost got another one from points. The first life, I think, comes at 30,000 points. The second one comes at... I almost died there. This, if I'm not careful, those bubbles are going to pop with these enemies inside, and I'm going to... Oh, I just can't stop falling! Okay, see that re those red ones there are going to pop and be angry? I like how they did not translate the pop. They still say pawn, which is like Japanese for pop, I think, or something like that. I killed him at the same time I died, which is awesome. Now I just have to get this last guy, and you can see why I hate these guys. They When they are fast, they are, like, impossible. Okay, well, at least I cleared everything out so I could come into the middle, finally. Alright, level 11, you're done. So this one is like ping pong, not ping pong, like pinball. And I think that's just a play on the fact that these guys bounce all around. I'm trying to get them all in- Oh, Umbrella! Umbrella! I gotta get the Umbrella! The Umbrella will let you skip a bunch of levels. The Umbrella is not a very common item, so very cool to see that. Maybe the umbrella is more common than I think, but it's not very common. Oh, I'm gonna die! That's always that's usually not no no okay. Usually the way I die is by falling on something through the sky. But there's no other way to get those guys. Oh no, I guess I can come at them this way. See, I can, if I blow some bubbles, I can jump on my bubbles and come out. Maybe do the same thing here. No, that's not gonna help. Oh good. There you hear a dog barking. Okay, let's let's see here. Okay, that that worked pretty well. I just I don't wanna get the the water yet because it'll flush me down all the way and then I'm gonna fall and die again. Level fifteen is done. I don't know what this is shaped like. A guy with a mustache that's angry. Has really big eyebrows. I don't know if they can come down here, so I'm gonna have to put myself in harm's way. Oh, I didn't want to go up there. That was scary. I almost died. But I got lucky, because I killed one of them while I was there, so now I'm... Oh, good. That could have gone much worse. So we, we kind of got lucky there. Why did my level disappear before? I think it, I thought it usually kind of scrolled off, but that time it just disappeared. Now why didn't that happen the same way to all of them? I don't understand that. Okay, now here's the first time we're seeing these lightning bolts. These lightning bolts are not going to be demonstrated because I died. But if you hit the lightning bolt, it'll go across the screen and kill enemies when it hits them. So that's Bubble Bobble, a game that I'm sure you're already familiar with, but another NES classic that I really enjoy. So if you haven't played it before, give it a play. It's good stuff, and it's even better with two players. So thanks for watching, and join me next time for another NES classic. Bye.